G'day guys. Today we're going to try and install Windows 10 on the Asus EPC 1000HA from 2008. It features a single core Intel Atom N280 CPU and 2GB of DDR2 RAM. So while it does seem to meet the minimum requirements for Windows 10, it'll be interesting to see just how well it'll actually run on this 17 year old hardware. To give it the best chance, we'll be using Windows Tiny 10 32-bit. Let's get into it. I have written Windows Tiny 10 to a cheap USB flash drive using Rufus for Legacy BIOS. We've plugged it in and we are using an external USB mouse, keyboard and monitor since the EPC itself is on its last legs. We want to go over to the boot tab and make sure it's set to boot from our flash drive first. I believe on this EPC, yeah, it uh, flash drives show up as hard drives, so we do want to change that. So our Alexa flash drive is above our hard drive, go save changes. Looks promising. And we did make it to the Windows 10 setup, which is pretty good. Go next, install now. Hopefully it's pretty standard. I'm not expecting any issues detecting the hard drive. Great, we'll click I accept. It was quite slow getting to this screen. Go custom. I want to delete all the partitions. This hard drive was used for Chrome OS. Not a good sign. So that's not a good sign at all. It looks like it won't let us delete all the Chrome partitions. I think I will power it off, remove the hard drive, pop it into my main Windows PC, and I'll format it there just so it's uh, a fresh blank drive. And hopefully we'll come back to this screen shortly. And we're back. I ended up formatting it just using Rufus on my main Windows PC. And no issues there, just had to tick list USB hard drives. So we'll click next. It looks like it's going to take quite a while to install. So we'll come back when we're on the final setup page. We're finally most of the way through the installer. Didn't take too long, probably about 15 minutes. We'll just try and keep everything as default for now. Give it a name, we'll call it EPC. That's too many E's, but that's fine. Want to disable as much as we can. And we're finally on the Windows 10 desktop. Take a look at our drivers, see what it found. It looks like we've got everything except the video card, which is pretty good. So I think I will see if I can get a Windows 10 graphics driver for this. I'll activate Windows, disable updates, and install a few programs and we'll come back. We're back. We did get the display driver installed with no issues. And I did set it so it only displays for this monitor, not the internal, so show only on display two. And we're running at 1360 by 768 which is the monitor's native resolution. So I think we'll start off with some YouTube playback. I doubt it's actually gonna playback smoothly, but we'll give it a go anyway. I have installed uBlock Origin just to give it the best chance. Go to YouTube. Windows 10 itself isn't running any worse than Windows 7 was on this laptop. So if you were running Windows 7 anyway, I would highly recommend Windows Tiny 10. I did actually end up downloading the driver on this PC through Chrome and it was very, very slow navigating websites, but it did actually work, which was quite impressive. We'll take a look at Task Manager while YouTube tries to load. Looks like YouTube's almost finished loading in the background, but Task Manager is not happy. There we go, I accidentally opened it twice. We'll close one of them off. More details and performance. There we go, we'll go to Logical Processes. So it is dual core or single core hyper-threaded, and we can see it's 99%, uh, not really doing too much, just YouTube in the background or just Chrome in the background. So this is pushing the little atom to its limits. We'll try and watch one of my old videos. It wasn't too bad, loading the results. I'll try and pause it before it starts playing. Disable autoplay, see if we can change the quality down. So it's on 144p by default. We'll try and force it to that, and we'll hit play. G'day guys, I recently picked up this free Android tablet on the side of the road during curbside collection. Okay. It's really lagging. I'll skip through to the actual uh, video portion. So 144 technically does play. It doesn't look good. It's not full screen. We are dropping frames. I'll try and enable stats for nerds, but I don't think it's going to be good. Yeah, so we've dropped about half of frames. Still dropping them. I'd say YouTube playback, just not possible on this old uh, CPU. We'll try some local media playback. We've got 480p XVID here. Seems fine.
It is doing it in software, not hardware. We'll try 1080. I don't think 1080 will work though. Doesn't look too bad. It is obviously running a bit slow. We'll go to statistics. And we are losing lots of frames, as you can see. So you're sort of limited to DVD quality playback. I think next we will try a few old games. We've got Diablo 2 here. It is running quite slow. See what the video settings are. We're on 800 by 600. We'll change uh, everything down to low. It is still quite laggy. Just as a comparison, it ran a lot better on Windows XP on this computer, and I think even Windows 7 ran it better than this. I would say this is borderline unplayable. We'll try something uh, else. And we've just lost video as well, as you can see. We've got Portable RA here. It's a great open source version of it. Seems to be running pretty well. Next up, Half-Life 1. Seems to run pretty well. Even when, even when loading, it's pretty fast. Oh, 
Overall, system performance was pretty similar to Windows 7. Web browsing was still horrible, but it was on Windows 7 and XP as well, so no surprises there. Local media playback is still limited to sort of DVD quality. I noticed game performance was pretty much the same, except Diablo 2 was very slightly slower than Windows 7, but not enough to be conclusive. It could have just been a coincidence. It turns out Windows Tiny 10 definitely works on the old EPC 1000HA, but you probably wouldn't want to use this as a daily driver. These days, these little netbooks are best used for vintage gaming or very light Linux. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.